Accra, Ghana is home to 1.6 million people. With tap water not being safe for drinking, most inhabitants rely on bottled or bagged water. This is one of the factors contributing to the high output of used plastic, including PET bottles, throughout the country. Thousands of tons of PET are thrown away each year. Even though it could be reused as a valuable raw material, PET's main function in Ghana is to make open dump mounds higher. Recycling is not non-existent in Ghana. In fact, even some plastics, such as PP, are shredded and recycled locally. From what we observed, all waste, including recyclable products, first ends up in a dump or somewhere outside. In rivers, in gutters, under papaya trees. Recyclable material is then collected outside or salvaged in landfills by so-called pickers. When it comes to PET bottles, there is no established large-scale market. Jeffrey Provençal is trying to introduce PET into the recycling chain. His startup Repattern buys PET bottles from anyone who is willing to bring them to its facility in Tema. The bottles are then color sorted, shredded, and sieved, and shipped to factories in Europe to be used as raw material. However, there is a major bottleneck in this chain, owing to the large volume of uncompressed bottles. This makes transport to Repatterns facility expensive and inefficient. In order to alleviate this problem, a solution is needed that includes a device to reduce the volume of bottles before transport to the Repattern factory. Ideally, this product should not only be easy to use and maintain in Ghana, but also be manufactured locally with local materials. This way, the device can be replicated by private parties, allowing Repattern to distance itself from all activities besides processing. You're going to fall. <laughs> Say your name again. I'm Sheriff. Sheriff Plastic Fish Management. 